today we're going to talk about how to get the best use out of your drum. So today we're going to be talking about the DJI drone, my Phantom 4 that I have, and how to get the most out of your drone if you own one. Go over a few techniques, the battery consumption, what to do, just to get the most out of that battery. It's going to be a quick video. I was supposed to release the 2017 recap video for last year. There's a few more things that I have to do on the video just to make sure it's perfect, even though right now it gives me the chills watching it. There's a few surprises in it, some new stuff, and I hope you guys dig it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the controller. So now with the controller, I played a lot of video games throughout my life. So using the normal thumbsticks with just your thumbs, it's pretty comfortable for just me. But I've noticed recently that if you use your thumb and your index finger, and then you put your middle fingers on the uh, camera gimbal to move the camera up and down and stuff, it doesn't look choppy when you're flying it. It looks smooth when you're very gentle on the sticks. <laughs> You get more of those precise movements when you're using both your thumb and index fingers. It's a little bit smoother, you can control it a lot better, especially when it's cold outside and your fingers are just freezing. And I've noticed that when I go on pretty big hikes or long hikes, especially ones that are in the winter time where my hands are just like completely frozen and I'm trying to do the thing with the sticks and it's just not working for me. <laughs> That's the best way that I've, I've realized. Hopefully that works for you guys if you try it out or if you own a drone, use both uh, your thumb and your index finger for those precise movements. For when I first started flying my drone, I only had one battery. So one battery consists of 27 minutes, 30 minutes ish, 27, 30, depending on how you're flying it. If you're flying it in sport mode, it's obviously going to consume the battery a lot faster. For my little tip with getting the most out of your battery life when you're going to fly your drone, if you only have one battery, before you pop it up in the air, look at your surroundings, kind of get an idea of what you want to film, what you want to get, kind of envision it a little bit. I like to turn on some music, maybe the song that I'm going to use for the video and kind of think about this think about the shots while you're just listening to music. Also, make sure that there's no power lines or obstructions that you can possibly hit, and even people, you're not supposed to fly over people, especially people that don't know there's a drone in the air. But once you do that and have a good idea, just pop the drone in the air and get your shots the best you can. That's on to my second tip, or I guess it'd be like the third tip, just the tip. I've noticed for those cinematic shots and the cooler shots, for the smoother, Holy crap, that looks really good shots. Utilizing two camera movements with your drone is probably the most ideal way to get the most out of your shot. So if you're flying forward and panning your camera down, or if you're flying it diagonally and panning the camera down or up, it just makes those shots look super smooth and super clean, and it gives it that like cinematic feel. But everybody has their own technique on what they'd like to do. I utilize the two movements all the time just because it looks better. I only have 30 minute time limit with my battery, especially because I don't want to carry all the weight for hikes and stuff. And the positive thing about only having one battery as well, you're not recording a shitload of video. So you're not, when you go into post, you don't have a whole bunch of video to go through. You just go through that one long clip and choose out the best parts and then just kind of put those off to the side and then utilize those in your video however you like it. Well, that concludes the video. It's a short one, but I just wanted to talk about how to get the most out of your drone. Hopefully those easy tips will help you like they help me. I, when I go to flying my drone, those are that's what I do, that's my process, and it works really well. So once you get that down, um, it'll work out pretty well for you. And I busted my glasses, missing the arm last night. What the hell happened? Looks like it's time for some new ones. All right, hope you guys liked the video. Peace out. Boop. Today, we're going to talk about how to get the best use out of your drone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a...